Hi folks, welcome to part two stroke week two of the 15 minute guitar series. Um, hope you got on okay with last week's. Um, if you didn't, don't beat yourself up about it. Stay positive, you can start and stop this whenever you like, it's up to you. Just like last week, we're gonna split it into three five minute sections again, technique, theory, ear training. And the whole point of this is it will all come together at the end um, and make a little bit more sense to you, especially the theoretical stuff, why we're doing that. Okay, so let's jump straight in then. Your first five minutes for this week is the minor scale, one octave, for f picked for five minutes. Pick the same way as before, the last time, alternate picked, and here it is. So we're playing the G minor scale, G natural minor, or G aeolian. And that will make sense a little bit later on when we look at modes, but for now, just think of it as G natural minor and we're going to be playing the 3rd fret on the E string which if you were looking at last week's theoretical paper that I placed on the screen you will probably, some of you may have remembered what the notes on that uh, string are now so you go E, F, F sharp, G so you'll see that that's the case so G is your first note, 3rd fret, 1st finger then we're going up to A which is the 5th fret and then a sharp or B flat, 6th fret. Then you repeat that pattern, exactly the same pattern, on the next string down, so on the 5th string. Okay, and the last two notes to play are the 3rd and 5th fret on the D string. Okay, so let me give you that up close. Okay, so here's G minor up close. Minor scale, it's one octave, it's alternate picked uh, for five minutes. Go. Okay, this week's theory section is this screen. Stare at this screen for five minutes. Write it out, stare at it on the bus, the tube, the train, or the bog. And, and just try to memorise it as best you can. It's five minutes a day. Right, third and final section of this week's guitar workout is ear training again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a series of notes on the E and the A string. They, they work, they'll be secret notes. You won't be able to see them. I'm just going to let them play on the screen. And what I want you to do is use your ears to find them. And that's going to be basically picking along the E and the A string until you think that you found the correct note. Don't expect to jump straight to the right note, that's, you know, you might do, you might not. It's all about the actual trying and that's the thing that's going to train you. So getting it wrong is actually good because you're going to be using your ears to go, well am I too high or am I too low? So how is this exercise going to help you, I hear you ask. Well, basically what you're doing is you're training your ears, your fingers and your brain to um, identify pictures because invariably you're not going to get it right straight away um, so you've then got to work out if you're too high or too low and doing that kind of practice um, your brain is going to speed up its processing of that data until the point where there'll be no lag, there'll be no um, loss of data, you'll, you'll hear the note and you'll be able to play it and that's what we're trying to get you towards. It's almost like you can do that now if you if you were to copy what I was saying or, and repeat it back to me as I'm saying it. It's like copying what someone says is second nature and that's what we're going to kind of do with, with your guitar playing. Well, I'm going to give you a blank screen coming up in a second so because all we're going to get is the notes I've recorded an absolute ton of them um, I'll give you like I don't know six or seven minutes worth and you can wind or forward and just try and find it. There's, it's just a matter of the practice as opposed to, yeah, yeah, I got them all right. You know, it's all about just trying to pitch it. If you get if you get bored of these particular things, then what we're aiming to do is for you to be able to put on an MP3 or a CD or whatever, and to be able to find the notes that you're listening to. You know, your favourite solos, your favourite riffs. That's what we're trying to get you towards being able to work out like that. So here's the blank screen and the notes. Have fun with it. I hope you get on really well, and I'll see you in a week's time. 
Cheers.